Episode four. I'm not someone who's good at feeling my feelings. Maybe I should say I'm not good at talking about my feelings. I wasn't really given a lot of tools growing up to be able to do so well. And so I think negative emotions, negative feelings are probably the hardest. I chose a poem today that talks about pain. And, um, you know, pain leads to suffering. <laughs> I feel like I'm Yoda all of a sudden. But I talked about that the other day, and, you know, suffering is something that can connect all of us. Um, we've been home with ourselves, with our families, with maybe alone for a couple weeks now, and I think we're learning a lot more about who we are than we maybe even realized we were going to so quickly. The projection for the peak of all this in St. Louis is not now until the end of May, and that's kind of hard for me to even wrap my brain around, and means that all of this probably won't be over until early July. So I've got to sit with those negative emotions. I've got to sit with figuring out how to process them how to sit in them and um, find words, at least if nothing else, for myself to think about them. And um, when I've been able to do this so successfully, I think I've realized that the anticipation is always the worst thing. So this poem is by Heather McHugh, and um, it's called In Praise of Pain. A brilliance takes up residence in flaws. A brilliance all the unshipped faces of design refuse. The wine collects its starlets at a lip's fault. Sunlight where the nicked glass angles, and affection where the eye is least correctable. Where arrows of unquivered light are lodged, where someone else's eyes have come to be concerned. For beauty's sake, assault and drive and burn the devil from the simply perfect sun. Demand a birthmark on the skin of love, a tremble in the touch, in come a cry, and let the silverware of nights be flecked, the moon pocked to distribute more or less indwelling alloys of its dim and shine by nip and tuck, by chance's dance of laws. The brightness drawn and quartered on a sheet, the moment cracked upon a bed, will last as if you soldered them with moon and flux, and break the bottle of the eye to see what lights are spun of accident and glass. Something I just thought of too is, you know, even though we're, a lot of us are on video with each other a lot more than maybe we would be otherwise, um, and I've heard comments from a lot of folks, and um, especially women, uh, friends of mine, that they're a lot more self-conscious than maybe they would be normally being on video all day long. And um, that makes me really frustrated at our culture for creating those painful and unfair expectations. Anyway. Be good to each other. Um, we're all feeling pain in one way or another. And something that I know we know but is helpful to remember is that uh, every single person around this whole world is experiencing this at least in some way. And maybe that commonality will create something positive. Anyway. I'm going to stop trying to turn this into a Hallmark card. Have a lovely evening. <laughs>